The 13 on your side weather deck is sponsored by Montel Construction. Quality made simple. Meteorologist Laura Hartman out on the weather deck and it is starting to feel like fall. There's no question there's a change in that air, Laura. Oh, there definitely is. And Nick, if you enjoy today, make sure you enjoy these temperatures for the little bit that we have them because tomorrow big changes coming up. We're going to see even cooler temperatures coming Tuesday along with some soaking rains. So your weather ball today is solid green, but it is going to be blue tomorrow as temperatures stay in the 60s all day long. This be sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Plenty of sunshine outside today after a pretty cloudy start, but we are going to be seeing a temporary dry out only lasting through the rest of today. Showers are back as early as tonight. So we'll talk about those in a moment. Breezy otherwise from the northwest winds at 5 to 15 and temperatures today reaching the mid 70s a little bit below average, but tomorrow you will definitely notice uh, the cool air that's going to be here. Model forecast. Let's get right to it. We've got clear skies or at least partly cloudy skies for the second half of today. Maybe a few more clouds coming in toward that sunset time frame, but really going to see overcast skies right around midnight. And then after that is when these showers start to move on in. Heaviest are going to be off to the south and east, so Kalamazoo Battle Creek likely to see some of the higher totals, uh, but we can't exclude those up to the north either. You may see some isolated heavier showers at times. These are going to be with us through most of the morning tomorrow and then starting to fall apart into the afternoon, but we're still going to keep the chance for a scattered shower through the rest of Tuesday and then even into Wednesday. It's to the north in particular that we see these showers kind of lingering and these are the areas big rapids to Mount Pleasant that got a lot of rain last night. So we'll have to be watching for some flood alerts in the next couple of days. As for rainfall amounts, well, these are going to vary just depending on where these heavy showers do set up, but right now looking at count Mizzou into Battle Creek Hastings too, possibly getting some of the heaviest amounts by tomorrow morning. This is 8 a.m., but even Grand Rapids, Ionia measuring over an inch at that point. So we could certainly see a lot of heavy rain and we'll keep adding to that up to the north. You'll see the lesser amounts through Tuesday morning, but then adding more into Wednesday morning. So everybody going to see plenty of rain in the next 48 hours. We could have some that have up to two inches possible. So we've got a soaking couple of days coming up and then look at these temperatures. Tonight we fall into the 50s. Winds start picking back up too. this time from the northeast and tomorrow that might be cool enough air to keep us in the 50s in some places all day long. Now Grand Rapids I think we'll be seeing low 60s, but it's not going to be much better. Definitely more of an October feeling day than September. Looking at the Holland Channel, we've had rough waters all through the morning and we're going to continue seeing those stay rather choppy through the afternoon. They will start to get a little lesser, but three to six foot waves still expected for the next several hours. That beach hazard statement is going to go until 4 p.m. So after that, you should start to see quieter waters, but just be advised it may not be safe to get in the water nonetheless. Temperatures today reaching the 60s to the north, low to mid 70s farther south. Inland locations will reach the upper 60s to the north, but quite a bit warmer into Grand Rapids and farther southeast. 74 in Grand Rapids and 77 in Kalamazoo. Your 13 on your side forecast. Big changes coming up on Tuesday. We've got a windy day with that rain. It's going to feel quite cool, so make sure you grab the umbrella or rain jacket for the early morning hours. Wednesday, same thing, especially to the north, but temperatures bouncing between the 60s to low 70s over the next 10 day forecast. All of it going to be below average for this time of year. So Nick, I hope you like this cooler weather. It is a huge change of pace. We haven't seen this cool of air since March or no. I'm sorry, May of, yeah. uh, earlier this year, it's quite been, a while ago. It's been a warm summer and I know I'm in the minority. I like the cooler weather. I'm a sweater weather kind of guy. You're going to love tomorrow. Good. Thank you very much, Laura.